The world is going through a major transformation, and artificial intelligence is speeding up this process in ways we never imagined. Even Tesla, the leading electric vehicle company in the world, has jumped into this field. But to make AI more powerful and practical, Tesla has created the Optimus robot. This humanoid robot is one of the few products that has captured widespread public attention, mainly due to Tesla's credibility and reputation. According to Elon Musk, Optimus is the most intelligent robot in the world, with its proprietary technology built right into its components. It's designed to handle all the repetitive tasks that humans tend to avoid. With Optimus Gen 3, the range of tasks it can do has grown to 1,000. From simple cleaning to more complex assignments, it can take care of them all. Let's dive deeper into this development. Optimus is not just an addition to Tesla's electric vehicle lineup, it's seen as the future of the company. Musk has openly stated that he believes Optimus will play a pivotal role in helping Tesla reach a $25 trillion valuation. Why? Because he thinks the demand for Optimus will be massive in the billions. Furthermore, Tesla is the only company that can mass-produce humanoid robots at scale. While the electric vehicle market is highly competitive with many consumer choices, the humanoid robot market remains relatively untouched. Recently, Musk also revealed plans to produce 10,000 Optimus robots at Tesla's Fremont factory, with production rapidly scaling up from there. This means Tesla could produce 1,000 robots in the first quarter, and by the end of the year, the number could reach 10,000 units. However, it is important to note that Tesla will not be selling the Optimus robot this year. The robots will primarily be used within Tesla's own factories. This means thousands of robots will be deployed on production lines, in warehouses, and across different factory departments. Tesla's goal isn't to make a profit or replace human workers with Optimus robots. This is not true. From the start, Optimus was envisioned to be more of a household assistant. In Tesla's demo videos, the robot is often seen performing domestic tasks like cleaning, serving drinks, receiving packages and watering plants. Musk believes that if Optimus can truly handle useful tasks, then all 8 billion people on Earth would want one. Just imagine, your daily chores like cleaning, cooking, washing dishes, and even taking care of loved ones, all done by a $20,000 robot. Optimus can operate continuously for up to 10 hours. Powered by Tesla's advanced 4680 battery, equipped with an AI-driven brain and state-of-the-art sensors, Optimus performs its tasks with precision, adapting flexibly to ensure each job is done efficiently, using human-like dexterity. From sorting clothes by material and color to preparing meals, or even taking care of children or elderly people, Optimus Gen 3 is designed to handle a variety of needs. It's the most advanced version of Optimus yet. The premium edition of the Tesla bot is expected to launch in mid-2026, bringing with it significant upgrades. This will mark the transition from internal use to widespread commercial availability. To achieve this, Tesla has set an ambitious production roadmap, currently producing 1,000 robots per month, with the goal of increasing to 10,000 per month next year and eventually reaching 100,000 per month during the official expansion phase. By 2027, Musk is confident Tesla will be capable of producing 1 million humanoid robots per year. Musk has also shared his thoughts about the potential of Optimus. It can be a teacher, a babysitter for your kids, walk your dog, mow your lawn, get the groceries, just be your friend, serve drinks, whatever you can think of, it will do. Please be nice to the Optimus robots. With the capability to handle these tasks, Musk believes Optimus will become more integral to daily life. Think about it. You can buy a Tesla car, like the Model 3, for over $40,000, but most of the time, it will simply sit in your parking lot. However, a Tesla robot that costs around $20,000 may not have that initial price point. Musk has said that the cost will likely be higher at launch, but will decrease as mass production makes Optimus more affordable. This is possible because Optimus is easier to make than an electric car. Musk has often emphasized that Optimus will be a homemaker and companion, answering questions and taking care of tasks quickly. 
This is why so many people are eagerly waiting for Tesla to launch Optimus. Tired of doing household chores. However, we'll have to wait until early 2026 for Tesla to officially release it. While this may seem like a long wait, it will give Tesla the time it needs to improve and refine Optimus, integrate new features, and ensure a more stable performance than it currently has. Tesla still needs time to optimize its technology and enhance its practicality. Rest assured, this is only the beginning. When Optimus finally becomes available, it will be fully autonomous. But you may wonder, can Optimus really perform these tasks on its own? There have been instances where Optimus was seen being remotely controlled last year. After introducing 43 humanoid robots at the Cybertruck launch event in October, Tesla faced a wave of controversy and mockery when it was noticed that Tesla employees were controlling the robots remotely. Many people doubted Optimus's ability to operate autonomously once it reached customers. No one wants to spend tens of thousands of dollars on a robot that requires constant remote control or human assistance. It would be impractical and a waste of time. However, the truth is that Optimus being remotely controlled is actually part of its training process. In factories, it performs tasks to gather data, which helps it learn. Think of it like a child who needs to be taught by its parents before it can do things independently. With enough practice and learning, Optimus will eventually be able to carry out tasks on its own. Elon Musk has explained that just like Tesla's self-driving cars, getting Optimus to operate fully on its own will take time and significant training. But given the rapid pace of progress, Optimus has been steadily improving. For example, it learned to catch a tennis ball, navigate uneven terrain and more. Tesla has been prioritizing Optimus more than ever, investing heavily in its development, even using celebrity endorsements, such as Kim Kardashian promoting the robot. This is particularly notable considering Musk has never spent this much money marketing Tesla's electric vehicles or other products. From a positive perspective, the temporary remote control of Optimus is actually an exciting development for humanoid robots. Remote control can be valuable in situations where human operators need to control the robot from a safe distance, such as in fire rescues. For instance, during a fire, it might be impossible for humans to get close to the scene, but Optimus can go in and be controlled from a distance. Optimus moves at a speed of about 1 m's, 2.2 miles per hour on flat surfaces. This is not its final speed, as Tesla aims to reach 2.2 minutes when Optimus is officially released. Currently, improving Optimus's mobility and hand functionality is a key focus for Tesla. Many people have laughed at the robot's awkward movements, but they soon realized something interesting. You might wonder why Optimus often appears to walk with bent knees, like an elderly person, or why it seems to move slowly. Some have argued that Tesla is wasting money on robots and should focus on electric vehicles instead. However, Tesla doesn't want Optimus to move slowly. They want it to be faster but need time to achieve that. The slow movements and unsteady gait are not signs of weakness, but a natural phase in humanoid robot development. Unlike electric vehicles, a field where Tesla has years of experience, Humanoid robots present an entirely new challenge, requiring integration of mechanics, AI, and dynamic control at a much more complex level. Imagine the difficulty of getting a machine to walk on two legs, maintaining balance in various situations, and reacting to its environment. This requires vast amounts of data and millions of test iterations. Tesla doesn't just want Optimus to walk, it needs to manipulate objects, work in real-world environments, and assist humans in many fields. This requires synchronized development between hardware and software, with fine-tuning AI algorithms to ensure the robot moves fluidly without sacrificing stability. The reason Tesla isn't rushing to increase Optimus's walking speed is safety. A humanoid robot that weighs dozens of kilograms could pose a danger to itself and others if it loses control while moving too fast. By keeping the speed low, Tesla can focus on improving balance, environmental awareness, and refining Optimus's movements. Historically, many groundbreaking technologies were met with skepticism, 
When cars were first introduced, they were mocked for being slower than horses and when airplanes appeared, people doubted their ability to replace trains. Over time, these technologies revolutionized the world. The same will likely happen with Optimus. When you observe Optimus's gait closely, you'll notice that its walking style changes when it moves from a flat surface to an incline. On level ground, Optimus bends its legs less, but on sloped surfaces, it needs to bend its knees more to maintain balance and prevent slipping. This shows that Optimus is able to adjust its movements based on its environment, something most other robots struggle with. Tesla conducted a mobility test for Optimus last year. And even though the robot was blind, its 2D cameras were not working. It relied on sensors and its AI to navigate. The speed at which it processed data was incredibly fast, processing each control loop in about 2 to 3 milliseconds, or 400 to 500 times per second. This allows Optimus to react rapidly to unexpected situations, and its AI can predict future movements to make optimal decisions. This is something few robots can do. During tests, Optimus was able to climb stairs, and in recent tests, it also showed the ability to descend stairs, a challenging task for many robots. This progress demonstrates that Optimus is becoming more capable of handling tasks in different environments. Optimus can assist with tasks like harvesting on uneven farms, transporting objects up and down stairs, or cleaning in multi-level homes. Its ability to move between different floors is an important feature for household tasks. Last year, Musk affirmed that Optimus and the Cybertruck would be the first two Tesla models sent to Mars. Given the rough, uneven terrain of Mars, Optimus will be well-suited for exploration and tasks there. The robot can also assist in search and rescue missions, reaching areas that humans can't easily access. One of the most impressive things about Optimus is its battery. Instead of using a massive battery that would make it heavier and bulkier, Tesla equipped Optimus with a 2.3 kWh battery pack. While this might seem small compared to other humanoid robots, Tesla's expertise in battery technology allows the robot to operate efficiently without unnecessary weight. Optimus Gen 2 weighs only 138 LB 62.6 kg, which is lighter than many adults. Moreover, the battery supports ultra-fast charging, with a full charge taking just 10 minutes. In comparison, a Tesla Model Y with an 81 kWh battery takes about 30 minutes to charge. The biggest surprise, however, is how Optimus charges, it does so wirelessly, marking a significant leap in robot technology. Tesla also designed the charging process to be efficient and space-saving. Instead of lying flat while charging, Optimus is hung on a charging dock, allowing it to remain upright while conserving energy. Similar to the autonomous parking technology used by Tesla's vehicles, as Tesla continues to innovate, the vision of a world where robots charge themselves, operate independently and require no human intervention is slowly becoming a reality. The future might be closer than we think.